What's up guys, hope you are having a great day and in this episode I want to focus on the final method and final class in PHP. Since PHP 5, PHP introduced a new final keyword concept. Before we continue on with the final keyword, I want to recap really quick about inheritance. So we have a class called user and I want to have a public property called name and I want to set it equal to John want a second property called public age and I want that to have no value. In inheritance, we could create a new class below our user class. So let's say class manager. And to say that we want to extend, so extends the class user, which is our base class. We could also create a function and override the function from the base class by setting the value to something different. But let's say that our manager has a different name than John. We could basically say that public name is equal to David. So we have overridden the name John. So John doesn't exist for the class manager anymore. In order to prevent this, so basically to create an application that is, well, pretty much more secure, we declare a class as final so you cannot override it. And to do this, we need to go to our base class and right in front of class we need to add the keyword final what we're saying right now is that this is basically our final class and it cannot be extended or overridden so as a programmer you are basically saying that nobody can touch anything that's inside my final class user so if we go outside of our classes and let's instantiate the class manager so let's set it equal to a new manager. Let's echo out variable manager pointer name. Save it. Let's go to the browser. Let's refresh it. And you can see that class manager may not inherit from final class user. Now, I definitely understand if you're thinking, well, what's the point of using the final keyword? Well, you are actually pretty much right. But what if you want to overwrite a class property, but you don't want to overwrite a method? And that's when a final method comes in handy. Now let's get rid of the final of our class user. Right inside of our class user, let's create a final method by saying that final space public function print name. And let's pass in variable name and let's return a piece of text which says my name is concatenate from name. Right now, our class is not final, but our method that we have inside of our class is. So nobody can touch print name method inside the class user. Now inside the class manager, let's go right below our property. Let's copy paste the print name of the class user, paste it right there. And let's change the piece of text inside of it to hi comma name. If we change the echo manager to echo manager print name, and let's pass in a name of Dari, save it. Let's go to the browser, let's refresh it. You can see that we're getting an error message because our method is final, so we cannot change anything inside of it. And if we go back to the browser, Let's remove our print name method inside the class manager, save it, go back to the browser, refresh it. You can see that this works because we're not changing anything inside the print name method. And if we go back to the browser one more time, and instead of saying manager is new manager, let's change it to user is new user. Let's say that we want to echo out user print name save it, refresh the browser, and my name is Dari is still printed out. This was it for the final class and method episode. In the next episode, I want to do a PDO crash course. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.